Hey guys, Rajiv here from Financial Hub India. So this is Nifty right now. I'm tracking and this is uh, 18th of May 2018. Right now you're seeing a one minute time frame chart here. Here basically I'm tracking, uh, you know, uh, this layer of uh, resistance here. All right, so uh, we'll, have, uh, we'll have our buy entry around uh, 10, 670. Around 10670, I think around 10, yeah, around 1068, 106070, we'll be having our buy entry here. Oh, I said 68, yes. All right. So, what we are expecting in this trade is that, uh, you know, the price is uh, quite a bit trending down for last, uh, I think, two days. And uh, we are trying to capture a reversal trade here from 10.670 to 10.715 uh, layer of support here. All right, so uh, overall I see a buildup of nice buildup of high lows as well. That's, an, that's the overall structure. You know, there's the overall structure here, but at the same time, if you see the uh, real time structure, that is even an uptrend channel here, isn't it? So let's see how this trade works out. And uh, just to give you the update here. All right. Uh, I think I think we are we are going to trigger it this this trade of few minutes. Uh, all right. So let me see. Uh, let me share with you the other thing uh, in the Nifty for now. And till the time we'll see whether we trigger the entry or no. So in a hourly time frame, uh, these are the key levels basically we have. Now here, right now we are on a, a very important key level here. We don't need this one as such really. So this is a key layer of support. If you see the broader swing, this is a huge swing basically. And then, you know, these are the insider swings you have. All right, then this was the world trend was uh, moving up. Uh, so right now we are, uh, we, we are right now on this key layer of support. And uh, right above that, we have a layer around here. And uh, about this layer, I talked about, uh, I, I talked in the uh, free uh, public channel, I guess. So, I think, where is it? I'll show you that part later. Uh, if, you, if you just go to the uh, channel, uh, the free public channel, you know, for, I think, T, um, I'll give you the description. I'll, I'll give you the channel link in the description. Just let me go to the charts first here. So here we missed a trade yesterday. Uh, uh, the trade was in uh, this channel we have been trading here all right this breakdown uh, this breakdown trade we we missed and uh, you know uh, it really worked out it didn't we didn't get an uh, entry opportunity even in the one minute time frames so uh, it didn't work out as well as uh, you see the layer of resistances here so we, we've, uh, we've been uh, even uh, tracking this breakout as well, which didn't trigger finally. It uh, just broke down below this key layer of support. You see this support layer. So this was our key layer of support zone. And we've been trying to catching up around here, even though uh, the idea worked out, the pattern worked out, but we failed to uh, capture that momentum there. All right, so the, uh, the intention of this video is to share the live thread with you guys here. Uh, all right, I think it's in here. Yeah. So this is the breakdown I was talking about. Uh, this uh, this channel breakdown here. No, I think this is more clear in a daily time frame. Oh no, not in daily time frame. It's in hourly time frame only. Okay. Yeah. So this was the layer. This was the layer which created the support zone and this breakdown we have been tracking here. And before that, before that, where is it? Okay, I have to go for 10 minutes. 
Right. So if you see the trend here, the trend was uh, pretty much you know in line and very much stable uh, in its in, in its uh, momentum. So even though uh, I should not say it's a pretty stable trend because this is quite volatile, I see with the pullbacks and all. Uh, but uh, the the uh, three minute downtrend was really intact, and uh, whenever after a downtrend, you know price making lower 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 high, and then it goes a uh, flat situation. So I think this thing I already discussed with you guys before as well, and we had multiple trades based on this. So after a trend, whenever you see a, a consolidation, get ready for a reversal move or a continuation move, and this is gonna be a big one. So the same thing was in here, this trend was down and then you had this uh, flat channel, the consolidation and then the price just continued the momentum here. So in uh, such scenarios can be traded with a bit aggression, which, uh, which we didn't do basically. If we would have done uh, this sell trade, this breakout trade with a bit aggression, then uh, hopefully we would have got the trade in here. But in any ways, uh, no hard feelings because we don't go out of our strategy, out of our system. So whether it works out or it doesn't work out, finally, uh, the system which you are following, the strategy which you're following, it should be satisfied. Yeah, and you need to be stick to that, whether it fails or it works out. Because in the long run, if you stick to your strategy or your whatever fund it is for the entry exit, uh, it will pay off if you stick to it. All right, so so far I see that oh we are going to hit the entry really oh yeah I've already uh, let me see yes. the entry is already done mm -hmm. yeah we are already in this yeah we are already in this so uh, this is just a live trade for you guys uh, I don't know how it's gonna work out I mean people are very much judgmental if one trade fails they start judging you you know but we don't see the account that way. Uh, it doesn't matter for us how one trade works out or one trade fails because if you see our last uh, uh, we just just now we made this in our member section this is the summary we have been doing actually so if you see this summary of our uh, trade so far the first trade we had is we made a seven hour gain in first trade next trade we lost one hour uh, then these are the live trades, the members, advanced course members, and this is the two hour gain, and then we lost one hour. So if we lose a trade in here, this will in here in this trade, it will be a loss of one hour, nothing more than that. Yeah, but uh, if you see the target we are doing, uh, at least if we can make it up to here, you know, then uh, at least we'll be end up making four to five hour, four to five times of whatever we are risking. So it should not bother you. I think for not for not four to five times, it will be more than that. It will be more than six or more than six to seven or seven, more than four, four to five times. We'll be making in this trade if it works out. So uh, one more thing is, oh, sorry. One more thing is uh, here if you see, so uh, first trade we made seven hour, then we lost one hour, then we made two hour, two times for what we did. Uh, whatever was our risk and then we lost one hour then we made 10 hour in this trade you know and then we made three hour so one hour so we are not afraid of losing one trade and you should not see the um, you should not see your trading strategy or your success or failure in terms of one or two trades it should be a series of trades all right then uh, that's where the strategy you are, uh, you are following that will play out right so we are already in this trade and uh, let's see how this trade works out. Um, definitely once we see a good amount of uh, pushes, I mean, once we see it qualifies to trail our stop loss, then we'll be trailing our stop loss above as well. For you guys, uh, since the price is breaking out above this, uh, it's okay if you, if you guys can go ahead and you can buy over here as well. That's all right. You can now go ahead and buy because you see the price pushed up even though it's a one minute time frame chart but it's coming back down and it retested that same layer all right so the price is bouncing back the price is bouncing back uh, from the support all right so that's it from uh, my desk today i'll see you guys tomorrow with some new lesson i think uh, one lesson is due for you guys the stability and the instability of the trend right so we'll, we'll work on that okay one more thing if you see the price was volatile here and some from the volatility the price is getting non-volatile now 
What does it mean? When it's volatile, it means there are good, good presence of buyers and the sellers. But when it's getting non-volatile, gradually it shows the one-way momentum, the control is taken from the sellers to the buyers. All right? So that's a good sign. I love it. That's a good sign. That's what you want, right? Okay. In this trade. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for your time.